Hello everyone, this is Mr. 13 Things. Uh, I'm putting this together uh, as a demonstration for a job interview actually. So if uh, you've gotten to this, I guess I made it to the interview. Um, but I'm going to use the, take the chance here to do a quick demo of uh, the differences between paper space and model space uh, basing on the fact that you've already got a model developed and you've got basically paper here and model in any drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and this is a blank drawing. I'm going to go ahead and file open up a drawing which I've done previous to this. And if you notice I come into here and you see a few things in the drawing. What we're looking down on, it just looks like a bunch of lines. It is a building with a, a non-symmetrical roof line and you see have some other information off here on the side. So this is the model space. Now very often the one thing and only thing, the most important thing to remember always about model spaces, you are drafting it one to one and it is a 3D space. X, Y, and Z. Generally what we do to manage that, we put our fingers in the X direction, we put our thumbs in the Z or up direction, and if we cock our finger, the expressive finger becomes the Y. So that said, I'm going to use the tool here which lets us orbit around to show you what that building looks like and let you know that off here on the side is just something to demonstrate uh, the different ways that you can go about views. So what we have here is a building and in that building we have some lines which we use the inquiry toolbar or list to see that those lines have X, Y, and Z and they are in the model space. We have polylines list that are X, Y, and Z in the model space. If we now go over to a sheet layout we have basically a view into the same thing but we realize here where the complexity comes in. Each of these little boxes here are essentially those windows into the world or the viewport that looks down into our model world but they exist on the paper and whereas the model was infinitely large the paper in this case is eight and a half by eleven. So if we list one of these things, L I S T, the viewport, you see they are on paper space. So one of the predominant things we use paper space for is to attach in our viewports or our windows down into our model. We also use paper space for, and I'll list it here, for text and notes. And you notice the paper space and the model space is one of the properties of any entity in the drawing. That said, it can tend to get complex and what I'm going to do here now is turn on a layer and that layer was a layer called Demo Changing Space. I'm going to turn that layer on and we see now the conundrum that sometimes when you see something you can't tell if it's paper or a model. And so as I click on this here and list it, you see that it's paper paper space, that text, but as I look at, click on this here, it doesn't let me click on it, and that's because it is not on the paper, it is in the model. By double clicking inside here, however, I can now dig down, essentially put my hand through the glass and grab anything that's down in the model. That said, let me go ahead and just go ahead and take that, left click, space bar, space bar, rotate it maybe 90 degrees. And now if we look down to the model here that we see that we are playing around with something that's in the model space, how that got turned around. One thing I will also point out is that there is an interrelationship based on projected planes between model space and paper space. So if I go back to here, one of the commands you don't want to play with too early is something called chain space. Chain space, you select the object. In this case, you realize because it's highlighted on the outside here that you're in the model, so you go back and forth by generally typing PS or MS. So now you say CH space. All these things are commands that are sticking around from the past. Grab something there. It's going to tell you which viewport you push it down into, and now when you went through, you see that you've essentially pushed that down into the model, though it's very difficult to know where it will go. So. We generally do all of our design in model space. We use the paper space for cutting windows into our world and for text. Thanks for listening.